So something strange is going on in the watch world. And through just pure chance, uh, I've noticed, certainly with JLC, you know, one of my favorite brands, that prices have gone down, not up. So what's going on? I'm Andy and welcome to the English Watch. Now this channel is about me and my watch collecting journey, an amateur enthusiast with an eye for detail, helping like-minded individuals like you start your watch collecting journey. Now if you like this video, why not give it a thumbs up and while you're there, why not subscribe? Okay, so before we get into it, um, and I haven't done uh, a Watches and Wonders catch up, there will be some of that in this, but maybe we'll get around to that at some point. Um, I'm wearing my Cartier Santos 35. Still wearing it, uh, enjoying it a lot. Now I have added an extra link in because finally summer's arrived uh, and my wrist is uh, just swollen a little bit. So with the power of Cartier's quick and easy link exchange, I'm able just to add a link in very quickly uh, and that's been perfect. Now, what I have also noticed is that I'm starting to get a little bit of tarnishing patina, you might say, uh, on the bezel, which um, is even. Uh, and obviously every time the watch slides up and down my sleeve or into my pocket, you're gonna get a little bit. I mean, it's highly polished after all. Um, but we'll keep an eye on it. I've seen some that are pretty shocking. Um, doesn't bother me at all. Just shows that I love it. So before we get on to what is quite an incredible story, I think, on a price reduction. So a quick look at what uh, JLC did for Watches and Wonders. Now, they did um, have quite a quiet release. I mean, the Duometra, which I don't know a great deal about, um, is a new model line, or it's a reintroduced model line. Looks nice, it's expensive, lots of complication. But I do have to say as well that the extra complicated ones have got a bit of a I'm going to call it a, an angry face. I just think it looks like a bit of a toothy grin. So I haven't seen it in person. I haven't picked it up and marveled at it in 3D. But in 2D, I don't know. Whereas the um, stainless steel blue dial, that's just got the two little um, power reserves on it. Fantastic. I think it looks really nice. Anyway, so last week I was renewing my home insurance. And every time I do this, uh, I go through my watch collection and I check that the values that are um, listed within the home insurance correlate to the list prices. Now, most of them checked off. And then when I got to the JLC Master Ultra Thin Moon phase, uh, the price was slightly different. Now, I didn't think any of it, anything of it at the time. Um, I just adjusted the price. Maybe I got it wrong before. And then literally on the same day, um, one of the guys at the JLC boutique that uh, I've been to a number of times contacted me to say, hey, Andy, the, um, the Polaris Green date has gone down in price by 500 quid. Yeah, it's gone from 10,700 to 10,200. Wow. Okay. So I thought I'd better look into this a bit further. So on further reflection, I looked into the price of the ultra thin moon phase. Now, when I first looked at this watch back in February 22, um, in fact, I went in on my birthday and I tried a number of watches on. And as you remember, that was the one I really wanted. And then roll forward to September 25th birthday anniversary, watch of Switzerland, tried to pull my pants down and I went to Berry's. Yeah, fair enough. We're over it by the way. So when I looked at that model, it was £8,400. And that was the previous gen with the slightly lower power reserve and the little uh, alpha indices, the arrow indices around the outside were slightly thinner. And I think also on the upgrade, bigger power reserve. And I think the the moon phase disc was is polished with extra stars in it. There's, there's a little little bits of window dressing plus the newer movement. Anyway, the price went up by the time we get to September to nine thousand six hundred. Um, 
Now that's the price I thought I was paying, but then come the come the day of the races, it had gone up ten thousand eight hundred, so it had gone up nearly a thousand pounds. That had gone over over a thousand pounds. Now I may have got these numbers a bit wrong. Anyway, it was a shock, but needless to say, berries at the time were honouring the previous price, ten thousand. Uh, sorry, nine thousand six hundred. I think uh, I'm looking at my notes, and I've looked on the internet now. When you Google um, JLC Master Ultra Thin price, it comes up at eleven thousand two hundred, and I'm pretty convinced when I looked, I don't know, a few months back, it had gone over eleven thousand pounds, which I was like, blimey, that's gone up. Now, when you look on the website now, it's ten thousand four hundred, so. Not only is it lower than the 10,800 that it had gone up to in 2022, but it's much lower than the 11.2. And if we say it was at 11.2, that's like an 800 pound drop. Now, as I said, I can't verify whether it did go up to 11.2, but I'm pretty sure it did. That's a massive drop and yeah, 500 pounds on the, on the Polaris green dial as well and the other Polaris uh, models as well. I don't write down price details of all these watches maybe i should do because it make my life a damn sight easier um but i imagine and reverse so the same that some of these prices have come down now they would never do this out of the goodness of their own heart i mean jlc as i said it's a brand i adore you know totally vertically integrated do everything themselves in-house beautifully classic designs amazing movements and they are undervalued but it is what it is. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Now, when you look at uh, another company in the in Richmond brand like IWC, and again, it's something I want to do because um, I have tried on the new seven day that was released at Watches and Wonders. I think it's pretty spot on. That is a very expensive watch at £11,000. So will, will we start to see in some of the Richemont brands, a bit of a climb down. Will Omega start to do it? I mean, I went into uh, Goldsmiths in Birmingham the other weekend to see if they had any the, the new Tudor models. They had the Tudor um, mono, is it the black and white? I can't remember the exact name of it. And in the cabinet, it looks pretty nice. Uh, wanted to try it on. But they were super busy. I mean, it was absolutely heaving in there. Now, whether anyone was actually buying watches, whether they were just in there for Tudors at that lower end, Longines, Orises, I don't know. Um, clearly, there's lots of people milling around the, the Rolex area being disappointed, but that's part of the course. So I don't know where the watch market's at at the moment. JLC have reduced their prices. Now, that's, <laughs> I guess, in stark contrast to... Um, when I went into the London boutique a number of months ago and they talked about a third tranche of price increases, so buy it now. Um, but actually the third tranche was a was a was a was a reverse um, of, of values rather than increase. So good job I didn't. Now I can't imagine they'll come down much more. I suspect they've said, look, yeah, we've gone so far, they've crunched the numbers, they've done the spreadsheets. And guess what? Yeah, the customers said no thanks, uh, and sales have dropped off. Maybe a lot. Otherwise, yeah, you'd have thought they may have hold, held their nerve for a bit longer. But clearly, they felt the need to pull back. I mean, we know inflation's coming down, but inflation still means prices go up. You know, if inflation comes down from ten percent to five percent, that's still five percent year on year. It's not gone negative five percent. Um, so. Yeah, some things at play. And why would just one brand in that group make that change? We'll see. So I'll be interested to see what happens to the rest of the industry. Um, let me know if you've spotted anything. I mean, this was pure chance that I spotted this and through a relationship. Yeah, they'd, they'd be able to put those two data points together. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see uh, if any of you've spotted anything else out there. Anyway, just a short one today. Um, I'll try and get some more out because it's been a bit thin on the ground, hasn't it, recently? Um, but maybe this newfound sunny weather is going to sort of spur me into action. Anyway, I'm Andy. This has been The English Watch. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.